Time is everything in today's world. Therefore, it's safe to say that speed is the determining factor between success and failure. And because we do not want you to fail, our internet is turbocharged compared to others. Yes, it's that fast. It's that simple. Keep surfing with Zantel. Zantel. Keep talking. This is This Week in Perspective with me, Adam Simbe. This week, Tanzania was the host of the United Nations and, Af and the Africa Public Service Day, and of course, the, the forum. Tanzania hosted this event at a time when the country is celebrating or is going to celebrate 50 years of independence of Tanganyika. As part of these celebrations, the government has decided to recognize the role of public servants or public service in the country's social economic development, having won the 2010 United Nations Public Service Award for the initiative entitled Property and Business Formalization Program. To discuss these objectives and purpose of these events uh, in Tanzania with me are uh, Mr. George Yambesi, who is a Permanent Secretary Public Service Management Office of the President. Dr. Dia Mamadou, who is um, head of the AU uh, Department of Democracy, Human Rights, and Elections. Dr. Adriana Albati, she's chief or coordinator of UN Public Service uh, Activities, as it were, from United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs. Last but not least, Dr. John Mare Kiusia, who is Chief of Capacity Development in the same department as Dr. Adriana, both New York-based uh, colleagues here. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you. And I, I hope you will uh, <coughs> take the opportunity to explain to the Tanzanian audience what is this forum is all about. So, shall we start? What's the background of the UN Public Safety Day and Forum, and why market in Tanzania for 2011? Now, I normally start with the left or right. Uh, since we're inside, you come in later. So maybe I should start with you, Dr. Farajoji Yabesi. Well, thank you very much. Um, each year, following the resolution of uh, African Ministers of Public Service in 2002 in, in Morocco, it was decided that, uh, you know, there is need really to, to recognize and celebrate the work of public servants uh, are doing in terms of delivering services in their respective countries. And in that year, it was decided that to do that, there would be a celebration, a, public, a, a day dedicated to celebrating the public service. And uh, June 23rd was chosen as the day to celebrate the public service of each year. Yes. And, and, and since then, you know, celebrations started. And uh, we in Tanzania, I think we started to celebrate in, in 2005. But also uh, in, in, this, in the same vein, you know, the UN General Assembly, you know, adopted a resolution uh, in, uh, 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 in 2002. Yes. Uh, in 2002. Sorry for the African ministers, it was in 1994 actually. In 2002, the UN General Assembly adopted the same resolution and also chose June 23rd mm -hmm. as the day to celebrate the, 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 the public service. Okay. Yes, so, so, so that's how, you know, that day has evolved. Mm. But this year, uh, this year we, 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 we were to celebrate our, our, our public service day as usual. I mean, at, at national level. Uh, yes, at, yes. At, 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 at national level. Uh, b but uh, f first of all, I think it was early this year when the UN requested Tanzania uh, to say that, uh, you know, can you p host, can you mm -hmm. please host the, mm -hmm. the, UN, uh, the UN forum and the, and the Innovation Awards and Public Day celebrations for this okay. year. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, and just for a background, uh, you know, that was, uh, you know, for the UN, these celebrations have always taken place in New York. But it was only last year yes. that they went out of New York and uh, they were celebrated in Barcelona, okay. Spain. Yeah. Now from Spain, they said Tanzania. Tanzania. What, what an honor, what an honor. Um, doc, uh, Dr. Kaujo, um, I mean, what is so strategic, what is so special? 
for the UN to have requested Tanzania to host this forum after Spain in Europe? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's partly the story uh, Mr. Yambesa has just told you. Uh, the fact that the whole thing started in Africa, the whole thing of celebrating the public service and uh, dedicating the 23rd of June of every year to this. Yes. And uh, when the debate was uh, taken up in the UN and everyone was saying, okay, we will celebrate, but which day? And everyone said, there is already a day. So in case you think that things that happen in Africa start from somewhere else, <laughs> actually, <laughs> they can start actually from Africa. Actually, they can time, start from they? Africa, and in this case, it started from Africa. Yes. So when we were, when we started this uh, initiative of holding the public service day celebrations outside New York, uh, two things pushed us towards Africa. For the time being, I'm not talking about Tanzania. I'm talking about Africa in general. Yes. One. In the United Nations General Assembly documents, that is where we are requested to pay special attention to the needs of Africa in the whole process of us supporting development. Two, we knew that uh, Africa celebrates probably more than any other continent the public service day because we follow up these events. Okay. Others celebrate with us, but as he said, Africa started long ago before we even started. Yeah. So it was like we were paying back. But then, because we work with many African countries and we work with the African Union Commission and the ministers of public service, we knew that Tanzania is actually one of the champions of the public service day. Mm -hmm. And we said, okay, if we have to work with Africa, if we have to go to Africa, then we better go and see the champions <laughs> of, of the Africa public service day. So this is the background. The, you are the champions. and. We started with the champions, okay. and as it turns out, you acted like champions and welcomed the idea. Okay, okay. Um, Dr. Dia Mamadou, <coughs> um, representing the African Union Commission, I mean, what is so special about this public, public service day? I mean, what, how does they, you take it? Yeah, it is, <coughs> the public service day is important, but uh, let me come back what Mr. Yambesi said. Yes. When the Africans met in Morocco and decided to have a public service day, mm. it was just a few years before what we call the end of what was called the structural readjustment program, where mm. public uh, issues yes. like uh, public enterprises, public service, was seen as plethora have to be reduced and that have led to a lot of difficulties. Okay. I, mean, I think in the early 90s there was a new uh, thinking in Africa and then deciding to have a public service day was to re put emphasis on the role of public, how to manage public affairs. Yes. That public affairs is important, public service is important and public service is the center <coughs> of the development because it creates all the framework to help develop an African country. Yes. And I think the reason and the, and the day as a day is symbolic because it is it, 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 uh, symbolized the fact that all Africans have to be aware of the importance of the public service as an institution okay. in African countries. Okay. Um, let me turn to you now, uh, Adi, Dr. Dr. Bakke Adriano. You are the coordinator uh, from New York in the Department of um, Economic and Social Affairs. Um, <coughs> Dr. Mamadou says uh, the whole co idea kind of started with the, the old, all those days of uh, structural adjustment uh, World Bank and IMF um, and we know the history of the structural adjustment just recently here, right here. Uh, we, I was talking about it with the World Bank representative. Um, so, does the UN, uh, in this case, you in person as coordinator, see public service as, um, as the basis, the foundation uh, uh, of, of, of speeding up, uh, expediting development in Africa and probably in other continents? And if so, what importance should it be? What importance should be placed on public service? Yes, 
Um, in fact, uh, uh, the, the, the value of celebrating Public Service Day in Africa and the United Nations is to bring to the fore and to the attention of, of everybody and citizens, not only in Africa but around the world, mm -hmm. about the critical importance that the public service plays uh, in, in, the, in the development, in the development of each country, and it plays a critical role across the globe in the pursuit of the uh, national objectives of any country. So the Public Service Day is really an opportunity to bring to the fore, um, first of all, the importance of public service, but at the same time also to uh, provide an opportunity for those in government who are doing a very good job uh, to showcase um, their innovative practices and to show the way um, to share this because too often um, there has been a bashing of the government, uh, that, the, that the government had to uh, relinquish all of its role in society, and we have seen that that does not work. Probably a balance <laughs> works better, but uh, we have n we, So it is very important to give back a central role to government, public service, and to good governance in society. And why? Because the linking point, as we see it, uh, uh, is to achieve the Millennium Development Goals that have been discussed so many times, but to achieve development in general is really uh, the public service delivery. How are services being delivered to the people? Are they being delivered effectively? Are they efficient? Are they equitable? Is every, is, uh, are all sectors in society being able to access those services? So really, health, education, security, justice, these are uh, services that uh, that really define the level of development of a country and above all the well-being of their people so the ultimate goal of public service is really to serve uh, the citizens and to ensure well-being and to create a better life for all so for us public service day is really a symbol of that and of the hard work that public servants around the globe are doing very quietly um, and so this is an opportunity for them uh, really to, to recognize their efforts because uh, there's a lot of uh, bad publicity, but when governments do good things, it yes. goes unnoticed. Yes. So we believe that the value of this day is, is really to, to bring this, to shed this positive light. Do, do you think, uh, Dr. Thier, um public service in Africa lives up to expectation of its people. Does it really deliver the qualitatively well, the services that they deserve? I think uh, the answer is yes and then we have to see that in uh, various African countries yes. the public services are not of the same level. Mm -hmm. We have African countries who have gone very far like when you say Tanzania have won the 2010 award yes. because Tanzania have done well in yes. public service. Yes. Take countries like South Africa, like Kenya, like others who have done very well in the public service in delivering services to the citizen, to the public, to the also the private sector because the public service is a framework for as we say development for in many African countries. Of course, we have also countries, particularly those emerging from conflict, mm -hmm. where every uh, infrastructure has been destroyed, I mean, public infrastructure, private, where it is very difficult to, 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 to deliver services. Mm -hmm. I think on all those, uh, the, also the new uh, program of the Minister of Public Service mm -hmm. is also to address those issues, to see also how to uplift the, the public service in the continent. Yes. In the way that mm -hmm. countries can deliver a reform of public service, in the way that the public service can deliver properly its uh, mandate in various African countries. Mr. Yeah, I, I think <coughs> as as Dr. Dia has said, you you, you know even in, in Africa you can you can see there is movement. In, there is movement, and there is a, a lot happening in terms of uh, the improvement of the public service. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can, you, one can cite the, you know, the recent adoption of the of the Charter on Values, for example. It is it is a major step by African countries, which shows actually that there is movement in terms of improvement.